my dad. He was one of the Midwest's largest industrial chemical distributors, and he practiced his craft liberally. Embedded in my DNA has been the belief that chemicals make us cleaner, safer, and prettier. Then, my 30s hit, and it was like every best friend started having kids. They began taking a closer look at what they were buying, and it made me consider everything I use. I realized, I'm surrounded by a lot of chemicals. There's 84,000 chemicals being used by U.S. companies. Almost none of them have been adequately tested for their health impacts. A possible link between common pesticides and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. For decades, we've all depended on special chemicals to protect us from fire, but now there are serious questions about the safety of those chemicals. Chemicals from makeup could be seeping into her bloodstream. You can just be living a normal life and you will accumulate over time hundreds and hundreds of toxic chemicals. Body burden really refers to the full array of chemicals or contaminants that are in our bodies. During one of my late night Google sessions, I found a study that freaked me out. Babies, they are basically coming into the world pre-polluted. We tested for more than 400 chemicals and we found on average about 200 different chemicals in core blood. As someone who wants to start a family one day, I became very concerned about what chemicals I had in my body. All the various things that when I have a little one, it will go from my body to Good them. Bangers. I don't think we realize how much we put in our bodies and how toxic it can be and that we do pass it on, mm -hmm. you know, to our children. I think if we were more aware, we would be a lot more careful. My results showed that I was full of chemicals from pesticides to plastics and flame retardants. If we are surrounded by chemicals in the products we use and the food we eat, are we able as individuals to impact our own exposure? I brought in an expert whose guides and phone app showed me where some of the toxins were coming from. Honestly, my legs do not need to smell, smell like raspberry rain. She helped me create a 30-day plan to see if I could lower my body burden with some very simple basic changes that anyone can make. If our government won't create stronger regulations, and if the chemical companies won't prioritize people over profits, can we protect ourselves and future generations? Can we hit the reset button or is it too late?